What's up, Space Cadets? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Space Engineers. Okay, guys. Well, we've got a lot to talk. We got a lot to talk about today. We've got a lot to do. Today is going to be all about making my second drill ship. I'm gonna call it. Um, actually, what did I call my first drill ship? <laughs> ah, crap. I don't remember what the hell I called my first drill ship. Anyway, um, did I actually name it? I don't think I ever named this thing. No, I named it. What the hell did I name it? I don't remember. All right, I'm gonna have to look into that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I named it because I was going to call it like the, the drill dough and then I named it something else. I'm going to have to look it up. Maybe I have it written down somewhere. Anyway, um, this is going to be version two or mark two. Uh, as soon as I figure out what the name of that one's supposed to be, we will uh, mark this one as mark two and give it its proper name. But before we do that, I'm going to come over here and you guys said that like I need more storage and I need more um, refineries and I need more assemblers. By the way, um, control shift mouse click adds a thousand items at a time and that is just wonderful. So I am banging out stuff like it ain't no thing. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, also, I had to turn off my drills because this is my main storage, by the way. This thing was like well over 400,000. So I, I had almost a million stone. Um, now a lot of you guys say stone's not that great, you know, you want to get regular ores. Yeah, I, I get it, I get it. It's, uh, baby steps, baby steps. Stone is something easy I can do, it's cool, it comes in, and I can keep it flowing as I set up my automatic drill ships to go out there and get specific types of ores. Um, baby steps, guys. Alright, what else, what else, what else? Um, oh yeah, up here I had to, you know what... Nah, it's alright. I was gonna I was gonna make it daytime, but it's it's okay. Um right here, the rock around the clock setup. Um I can automatically turn this thing on and off easily. Um number three does the reverse. Number four is power. That's for number eleven, by the way. Um and I will put each piston up here as I go along. And then right here is the rotor and the drills. I could turn this thing off with three keystrokes. Not bad at all. Alright. So, what are we going to be talking about today? Oh, yeah. Um, as far as, like, adding more refineries, um, eventually, and I don't know when I'm going to do this, but eventually, I'm going to put two assemblers over here. I'm going to put one right here, one right here, and then I'm probably going to have, like, three refineries, I think, um, just side to side. I'm going to have to redesign this a little bit. I did not design this base around having multiple assemblers and refineries, so um, I think two assemblers is going to have to be good enough, and three refineries. Honestly, the refinery part is the thing that's... Um, the bigger issue, I think. The assembler seems to go pretty quick. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. So let's get let's get going on the video. So um, I went ahead and got the mod um, called Build and Repair System. Hells to the freaking yeah! So what this thing is gonna do is if you if you set up a little area around something, it will automatically build or repair stuff in that area. Now I've gone and said that I do like the idea of um, of of welding by hand. But the thing is, when you're building ships off a projector, um, there's a lot of stuff that you're going to have trouble getting to when you build stuff on the outside first. It's really a pain in the ass to build the projectors. Um, also, like, there's stuff in here that, like, if I build stuff, I won't be able to get to certain blocks. Um, also, also, uh, you know, using welding ships on a planet with gravity and weight is really, really hard. It's really kind of irritating. Um, but at the same time, I do like the idea of building welding ships. So I'm going to weld by hand, but I'm also going to use the, um, the system, uh, because it's, it's actually pretty cool. And, um, I'm not going to, well, I don't know. As of right now, I have no intentions of only using that system, uh, the build and repair system, but I might end up only using that system. But as of right now, I, you know, I will probably, you know, do a lot of welding by hand. I've done, I've done all this myself. So, and, uh, yeah, so I, I'll tell you, man, welding on a planet is just, <laughs> I liked it a lot better in space. Let me just put it that way. All right. I just went ahead and made it day so you guys could see, although eventually I'm going to want to do some stuff with lights, but for now it's important that you guys can, can see. Now this thing does have to be hooked up to the re the system here. So let's see if there's an input on the bottom. Yeah, there is. Okay, great. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here and yep, there's an input on the bottom and there we go. I kind of want it facing. I don't really think it matters which way it's facing. So we'll just go ahead and put it down right there. And go ahead and build this sucker. And I did I did um create a ship in my uh, in my test world, like my creative world, and I'm gonna bring it over here and I am going to put it up for uh on the uh, on the workshop in case you guys want to use it. I mean it's something special, but you know, if you want to use the same ship I'm using, you know, feel free. Knock yourselves out. That would make me very happy. Um so let's just go ahead and build this thing. Alright. And you see it's got front, rear, down, um, left, and right. That's going to be important as we go along. By the way, I need power, so I'm going to have to work on that as well. All right, so I'm going to... I was going to build this thing over here, but now I don't think I'm going to. I actually want it to be closer um, to, the build, to the build repair system. So let's go ahead and take an advanced rotor 
And let's go ahead and bring it over here. And I think we'll just put it right here. Yeah, right on there. Well, hold on. Let's line it up with this thing a little bit so it's it's easier to deal with this thing. Because I've done I've already done this off camera. Let me tell you, it is a pain in the ass to get this thing lined up properly. There's probably easier ways to do it. And maybe as I get more experience with it, it'll get easier. But I never grabbed the uh, the thing. Um, but from what I was doing, it was it was it was not easy. So, you know, it is what it is. There we go. And let's go ahead and make the advanced welder, and let's uh, let's get the uh, projector and get this ship uh, in the game. Oh, you know what? I was going to cut here, but I'm actually going to show you guys. This is important. A lot of you guys might not know this. Um, if you put down an advanced rotor, and then you grind off the the rotor head, okay, and then you go in here and you find the advanced rotor. Uh, there we go. And then you you go down here, add small head. That allows you to build from a big grid to a small grid. And the reason that's neat is because um, once you put batteries on your ship, they'll be, you know, they'll be charging as you're building the ship. Um, it's really neat. It's actually a much better way than, you know, throwing down the landing gear like we used to back in the, back in the stone ages. <laughs> back in the day. So we just put that right there. And then we're going to kind of build up a bit of a, of a thing here. I'm going to need some steel plates. All right, so we got the projector down. And I'm also going to put a control panel right here because I like being able to, like, deal with stuff from right in the area, right? So, right, right, right. Can I say right a few more times? All right, so um, let's come on in here and let's take a look at the projector. And then we're going to come down here to blueprints. And this is the uh, build so far. I don't have a screenshot of it. It's not named or anything like that. We're just going to plop it down. And it doesn't look like it's in a great spot. Nope, nope. We need to rotate it 90 degrees. So we can come here and go into Projecta. And roll 90 degrees. Was that the right way or is it supposed to be the other way? Nope, that's the right way. Cool. Um, and yeah, actually that's... You see as this is glowing, that means it's ready to rock. It's actually lined up properly, which is great. Because that could be a problem sometimes. Although this might be a problem at the top, but... Uh, I kind of want to lower it a little bit. Will, that, will this, um, see, this is weird that it's going to allow me to build this because the, um, uh, the connector is inside of the thing. So, all right, I'm not going to worry about it. It seems to be working. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here. Now, this is the tricky part. We're going to come over here to the, uh, builder repair block and we're going to look. It's got to go left. Actually, it probably just has to go left. So, let's come on over here, and maybe we could do this from here. Now nah, we'll do it from over here. It'll be easier. So, what we could do is we go in the control panel, and we look for build and repair system. And we go down to here, all the way at the bottom, and show area. Oh, see. Now, the area is big enough where it's actually in the area. No problem, right? Um, but the, the issue is, I don't want it to build my base. So, that's why I'm going to make this area, the width and everything, a lot smaller. All right. So, we're going to do that 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 then we got to move it uh horizontal left okay and then make it smaller now there's a different way of doing this and i'm not going to bother with it because it's kind of involved <laughs> uh, and i'll show you in a second all right so actually you know what <laughs> wow that's pretty freaking perfect <laughs> that's great wow okay cool um okay so here's the other way you could do this if you go in here um, actually, you don't, you don't do it in there. What you do is you, you come to a control seat or something. You, it's what you, that's what you want to do. So I'm going to come over here to my control seat. And if you're going to do it this way, you probably make a control seat that's closer. But whatever. So you get in the control seat, press V. Now you can see all over the place. If you hold down Alt, you could kind of do this, scroll around. You can see everywhere. And then what you can do is you can press G and go for build and repair system. And then try and drag it down here. And then there'll be a lot of options, right? And what you're going to look for is area offset, right? Uh, left, right, dec increase, decrease. There's just a lot of buttons for that. So I, I tend not to use that, but you could use it. And who knows, maybe I'll use it sometime in the future. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually weld as much of this as I can by hand. Um, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to go up in here into the build and repair system. And I'm going to turn the view off so i can't see it um show area uh show area we know the area is good we don't need to see it so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna weld as much of this as i can as i feel like as i can i don't know i'm gonna do a lot of this by hand 
So let's get this thing loaded and start doing some welding. I'm not sure exactly what I need for this build. So I just threw a bunch of stuff in there. So let's go ahead and turn on the batteries, which will be nine. Um, unlock, which would be eight. All right. And let's get over into the area. We're going to be super duper heavy. Um, so we've got to be super duper careful. All right, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem here. All right, now we're going to go to seven for the camera. And let's get to welding. Okay, careful. Very careful. I did save before I got in this thing too, so. Come on. There you go. Okay, this might actually be easier to do this way, by the, or faster. Um, it's definitely not easier, but I think this would actually be faster than using the um, the build and repair system. Or maybe not, I don't know. We'll see. So there we go. Also, if I could put a few welders side to side on this thing, I could start welding out bigger areas. So, and you can see right here, there's going to be blocks on the inside of this that are just not going to be weldable. See, that I'm missing stuff too, which kind of sucks. I'm going to have to find out what I'm missing and then, you know, just weld what I can. And um, find out what I'm missing. I'm definitely missing something. These are big thrusters. I don't, I've never built these before. Actually, I have. I've built them on the thing I'm on right now. But for the most part, you know, I don't know what those big thrusters take. So, and this thing has big thrusters. It's got, I think, eight going in the downward direction, uh, giving us lift. And it's got two in each other direction. It can hold um, 243,000 stone and still fly. Uh, it actually gets full before uh, weight becomes an issue, which is what I wanted. All right, so let's uh, continue welding here. By the way, this welding, this is fun. This is, I enjoy this, I really do. All right, I set up the programmable block to only show buildable items, which definitely helps, definitely helps. I don't know how perfect it's gonna be, um, but yeah, and this thing can only hold so much. And it can't hold that much, <laughs> you know, compared to all the things that this ship needs. But, you know, it's coming along pretty well. It's coming along pretty well. I crashed into it a couple times. Hopefully I didn't do any, like, serious damage to anything. But, you know, I won't know for sure um, <laughs> until it becomes a problem, right? So, but yeah, this is uh, it's pretty fun by hand. I, I just, I don't know if I want to do it always by hand, you know? It's just like, yeah, it gets me a bit much sometimes. It'd be nice if you could see what you're missing when you're in the ship. I think that'd be pretty neat. Um, I'm definitely missing something. I just don't know what. Uh, and I can get out and find out, but you know. Again, uh, I wonder if you could set up a, some kind of a LCD to like tell you what you're missing when you're trying to like, you know, weld something. That'd be pretty neat. I think I'm missing more than one thing because not a lot of this is getting built. But you gotta be very careful to ship too, because man, this thing, if, if you start tipping one side to the other with this thing, Oh my god, it's it's awful. Like, like I'm just like kind of leaning forward a little bit, and now I'm just going forward, and I can't. Yeah, I gotta make a welding ship that has the uh, powerful drills going in all directions. That's what I need, because like weight is such an issue in these games. I thought it was an issue in Imperion. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's find out what we're missing after we do a little bit more uh, welding here. There we go. Yeah, I like this circumference of the well. You see, there's a lot of stuff in the middle now I'm not going to be able to get to. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Let's see. Turn this off. Yeah. Because I can't, like, point really straight up, you know? So, I like doing this by hand, and I'm going to use the, um... I'm going to use the build and repair thing to kind of finish it off for me. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, actually, I'm really... I'm kind of curious on what I'm, what I'm missing. You guys might be, too. <laughs> so, I will check this really quickly. Okay, get out, and let's take a look. Uh, yep, motors. I knew it, man. I need freaking a million motors, dude. <laughs> For real. All right, I've done quite a bit of uh, welding with this thing. Made some mistakes, crashed into some things, but everything seems to be going okay. I think I'm going to let the build and repair system kind of take over from here. I do have some batteries, uh, and the batteries are charging. The problem is I have some serious, serious power issues. And I wanted to fly this thing out for you guys today. And if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do that, I've got to get some more uh, wind wind turbines going. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's come on over here and let's try. And, I was trying to build this um, wind thing up here, these wind turbines, um, and it wouldn't let me. And I'm not really sure why. Um, what's a yeah? Uh, and I'm not really sure why. So let's see if it'll work now. Maybe it was just a one-time thing. I don't know. All right, so yeah, that's not gonna 
do anything. Okay, I'm not sure why these aren't uh, letting me do anything. Um, I'm going to show you right now. I know what it needs. Uh, at least I think I know what it needs. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I've got um, uh, interior plates right there. And I believe interior plates is what I need to build this thing. So, yeah, right there. Interior plates is what it needs. The only thing I have on my character is interior plates. And it lets me build it. Or at least start to build it. So, the fact that this isn't working here, I'm not quite sure why. It's not building the blocks either. Um, oh, God. That <laughs> that freaking welder, man. i got to remember to turn that thing off. I've almost killed myself quite a few times with it. Um, now, as a quick test, I'm just going to kind of come down here and see if I can weld anything else on the base. Because I'm not really sure why I can't do it. Yeah, see, that's not... Oh, okay, so I can do that. That's interesting. I wonder why. All right. It doesn't really matter, though. All right. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to park this thing. And we're going to use the build system to make the rest of this ship. So let's uh, let's do that. You know, because of our power issues, I'm probably not going to be able to set this thing up to auto mine today, unfortunately. Um, the thing has, like, 12 batteries on it or something. Uh, so I did set up the hydro thrust to dis, uh, discharge. I set this thing up to discharge. Um, I will have power enough to make this thing go uh, next video. Faux show. Uh, but for now, let's just uh, get it finished and kind of, you know, take a look at it. We could probably do it by hand. I just, I don't want to send it out to auto, auto mine until it's like full, full power. M maybe we will get to it. I don't know, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go to the uh, build and repair system and turn that on. And it should. There it goes. It's going to finish it up for me. Now, I don't really... I, I think this is a much better system than Imperion um, because you actually have to build something, you know? You have to build the build and repair system. Um, maybe they should make the build and repair system a little bit more intricate to build, you know? Like, maybe you build this thing uh, first and then maybe you have to build... Like, you know how there's like a circumference around this thing? Uh, maybe it'd be pretty cool if you had to build, like, projectors or something in the corners or whatever. Um, here, let me let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Because I really like this, but I think it should be a little bit more set up. You know what I mean? Uh, so let me go ahead and show area. Okay. So what I was thinking was, in order to have this area, you should have to put a projector in each corner of the area pointing inward to make this area. Um, the fact of the matter is, like, putting down the building repair system is cool, but this area is automatically done. I think it'd be cooler if you had to, like, build something in here. You know, you don't have to make it super intricate or crazy, but, you know, just some projectors or something in the corners. Maybe some, I don't know what you would call them, maybe auto my nanobots, I, like, because I think this is, like, a nanobot thing. Uh, maybe nanobot, you know, uh, housings, so the nanobots come out. Because the idea is that nanobots are kind of building these things, I think. I know when I asked for a, an automatic building system, people told me something about a nanobot building system that might actually be this one. Um, honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm totally new to this. But yeah, like nanobot housing, you know, so they come out and they kind of build it. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. I think Imperion's way too simple as far as like, you know, you just spawn in the ship. I think that's terrible. Um, not terrible. I mean, it's fine for what it is, but I think this is a lot cooler. And um, I think the idea of welding by hand with this is a bit too much with the weight system, um, the gravity and stuff. Um, it, it's a it's a bit it's a bit too much for me personally. Um, I think this is a really cool system, and I think if you had to build the nanobot housing surrounding the ship to make the area, I think that would be even more cool. Yeah, come on, come on, modders, get on it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn off that area and just uh, let this thing build up. Uh, now, what we have to do now is we have to make sure that we still have everything we need for what it's building. Um, like power sources, you know, or whatever they're called. Um, let's take a look really quick. Uh, yep, see, we don't have any more. Here, hold on, let's do this. Yeah, we don't have... Oh, no, we got 1,500 power cells. Never mind. What are we getting low on in here? Honestly, I really need a lot of motors. But it seems that we're not really getting low on much of anything. So I think we're just going to let it build and keep an eye on this and make sure we're not getting low on anything. And uh, we should be good to go pretty soon. Oh my god, the power issues. Huh. Is there some kind of like um, thing I can make that will like run off hydrogen or something? Some kind of hydrogen thing? <laughs> I think there is. I think there is. I should probably make a hydrogen engine. Hmm. Should I do that? I'm not really set up to do that right now. So, um... 
Yeah, I have to plan at the base. I'm getting that analysis process thing I always tell you guys about where I want to plan at the base. I'm like, oh, I could put down a hydrogen engine, start making hydrogen. I could probably do it right now. The reason I'm not doing it right now is because I want it at a certain spot in a certain way. Um, the O2, H2O2, O2, H2 generator is not ready to go. And, you know, uh, it's just mm, so much to do. That's one thing I love about this game, though. There is like a million and one things to do, which is just, just fantastic. Maybe I should set one up really quick. I could probably set one up um relatively quick somewhere and just get something going here because i i'm thinking that's going to put out a lot of power um yeah you know what let me find a spot for it you know guys that was relatively painless all i had to do was plop the generator right on top of the damn thing piece of cake now the only problem is now i'm running out of ice and this thing's not hooked up to the system so i'm gonna have to manually um bring ice over there for the time being where is my ice there it is Oh, okay, so what is that? That's in the uh, ingots one. All right. I could probably pipe the ice over there, but for now, I'm just going to kind of run it over there. Um, there we go. 3.74. I could hold some ice, baby. There we go. And that thing's putting out uh, quite a lot of power, too. Um, but now that we've got that thing, we're going to have to go get some ice. Faux shout. All right, let's see if this thing is, um, is finished. By the way, I got some more uh, wind turbines up here. I'm just going crazy with the wind turbines. This one right here has got to come down. It's, uh... Oh. Oh, I screwed this up, by the way. This is eight. Oh, yeah, I screwed that up. All right, I'm just going to leave it alone for now. I'll mess with it off camera. It's supposed to be eight spots from this one, not from this one. This one's getting taken down. It was a, it was a mistake. Um, so that one's a mistake, too, now. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so I think this thing's done. I don't hear any other uh, stuff with it. Um, you can take a look at it now. We got the, uh, the crazy, um, we got eight big thrusters, uh, giving us lift. We've got two thrusters going in all directions, a ton of batteries. It's all set up to auto mine. All right. Which I'm not going to be doing today, but you know, um, cool. All right. So let's go right here and let's look for the batteries. Oh, so it's like 50 batteries. I got to group them. Okay. So batteries and right here all the way down through here and here, 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 here. Put a lot of batteries on this thing. I hope that's all of them. All right. So what is this thing called? I don't know. Batteries for a new auto miner. Oh, that's right. The other one was called the MIDS. That's right. All right. I'll, I'll do the naming stuff later. I don't, I don't really want to mess around with that right now. All right, so new auto miner. There we go. Put that right there. I don't have a place for this to hook into the to the base either. So th th I've been making this video for like three hours today. I can't <laughs> I can't do it all in one day. I thought I could, but I can't. Recharge. Okay, so it's recharging. Turn that off and recharge. Okay. All right, so we're gonna save the game. I'm about to break that thing off. Break it off something. And let's see how this goes. Oh, it didn't make the connector. That's all right. I can make the connector separate. It's perfectly fine. All right, looking good. Let's go do. Let's go do some quick mining. I should be able to do some. Oh, two minutes. Oh, that's right. It's not hooked up to it anymore. That's right. Okay. All right. You know what? We're not gonna be able to mine with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way because it's not hooked up now to this base, so it's not getting any more power. And as you could tell by the two minutes, it did not have enough power. So that kind of blows. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint it, but I'm going to do that off camera. You guys will see the paint job um, in the thumbnail. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the ship. Let me know how good do you think it's going to mine. And uh, man, it's going to take a lot of power, but you know, what are you going to do? You want, you want the, big, the big loads of rocks or iron or whatever. You got to pay the price. Anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you're enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Okay, we're going to do a quick post commentary here for the super fans. Okay, this is for the super fans that stick with the video till the end. I'm going to ask you guys, what colors would you like me to paint this? Two colors. Pick two colors and, um, if you know... Um, if, if like a bunch of people agree, like someone's like, oh, this color and that color and like 50 other people are like, yeah, do that. Maybe I'll just pick the guy who gets the most thumbs up. I don't know, but just let me know what you guys want me to paint it and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. All right, guys, that's really into the video. I'll see you next time.